Your studies and research has helped you dive into the Arizona agriculture's unique successes for these past 40 years as you're speaking. Uh, talk about this. Well, you know, Julie, when I came out here in, in 1987, as I mentioned, I was hired as an extension agronomist and with, with cotton specialty, cotton focus. I was the cotton specialist in Arizona. We still had those positions at that time. And cotton was the largest crop in the state. And so I was immersed immediately into that production system. But when you work with one crop in a region like this, you really are working with them all because it's a system. You know, we rotate crops, we move them around so they, they don't just operate in a vacuum by themselves. We, we operate them in concert with one another. So, you know, what I began to, to experience, kind of like taken from a, drinking from a fire hose, was understanding the complexity, kind of the mosaic of Arizona agriculture, how it, how it changes across the state from region to region. And it, it's really a different pattern than where I come from out on the plains, where you have more of a slow gradient across the landscape as far as the changing kind of conditions, you know, rainfall, you know, uh, general topography. But in Arizona, it's primarily driven by our elevations, particularly where we're producing crops across the southern half of the state and what we call the lower elevations of the state. And so I had to become familiar with not only the crop production systems, but also the people and the communities. And even though we're growing all the same crops, everybody does it just a little different from community to community. So it's been a, you know, I'm still learning, That's <laughs> you know, awesome. as we, as you probably can appreciate, but it's constantly changing, but it's quite an interesting, quite an interesting mosaic across the state. That began almost 40 years ago. Wow. Rosie on the house, every Arizona. 